Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen here on the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. We've got another start this morning like we had yesterday morning. Almost the same exact picture from the uh, Plano cam. As you can see, we've got sunshine and just a few distant clouds trying to work back in here while other parts of Kentucky are getting some rain at this hour. And uh, it is 8. 25 central time as you're looking at that live shot from Plano. And uh, we're going to see kind of a repeat of yesterday's weather again today with the possibility of more of those storms popping up. Here's a look at the severe weather outlook, which has been upgraded just like yesterday. We went from a level one to a level two. Last night, if you were watching me on News 40 uh, at 5, 6, and 10, I had us, you saw the picture of a level one green marginal risk. Well, we've been upgraded to a yellow level two slight risk for today. And it does go from Bowling Green up to Owensboro and most of the central and eastern parts of the state for that possibility again for more heavy rain producing thunderstorms. We didn't see any tornadoes yesterday. The tornado outlook today, a little bit further north and east, and it's only at two to four percent, not a big risk. The bigger risk is going to be the severe wind or damaging wind threat. Again, you can see there 15 to 29 or 30 percent almost. Uh, probability of severe wind or damaging straight line winds uh, in that same area. Hail is not uh, a threat. Uh, there you see the hail threat is going to be back here a little bit more into Missouri, Iowa, Illinois. Uh, not so much here in Southern Kentucky. And tomorrow, which was supposed to be rain free, has now gone back to showers and thunderstorms with a level one marginal risk for the first day of August with the level two risk being across Northern Kentucky, parts of Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And it looks like we may get another little round of thunderstorm activity as we get into the day tomorrow. So uh, this is almost a relentless pattern that we've been in and will continue to be in for at least a couple of more days before we start to see a break in some of this rainfall activity. And we will get a break. It's just right now kind of hard to shake off this uh, pattern that we've been in and will continue to be in for a while. Here's a look at Baron radar this morning. We uh, zoom it in and you can see heat advisories back to the west of Bowling Green. Here are those thunderstorms that are ongoing this morning in parts of central and eastern Kentucky. You can see all those are making that dive off to the south and east. We're not seeing anything here in Bowling Green or southern Kentucky. Let's look upstream. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, these things just keep on coming. This one thunderstorm complex after another, all of these producing very heavy rain, uh, lightning, damaging wind threat. This one is rolling a little bit more east toward Indianapolis, but we are expecting it to take more of a right turn and come southeast and maybe affect parts eastern parts of our area instead of so much in the Bowling Green area. You could probably draw a line from I-65 eastward is where it's going to have most of the effect today as far as thunderstorm activity. But uh, nonetheless, we keep having these rounds of showers and thunderstorms, and it looks like that is not going to let up just yet. We still have a, a little bit more to go. Now, if you look at the uh, weather cameras from AAA Systems, the first one, downtown Bowling Green, you think, well, oh, 
looks like a sunny day. It looks like everything is great. You're seeing a few fair weather clouds and, and yes, you would be right. Uh, not bad. Let's take another view. And this one is from the weather cam at Wingate hotel. And we've got it turned a little bit more toward the uh, north and east where last night we were seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, some lightning going on as those storms passed. And I was using this scene, uh, last night at 10 o'clock and you could see a lot of lightning off in the distance, but here you see a little bit of haze, but not much else going on. Morning sunshine in there so far today, but I don't think that's going to last. Here's a look at the Kentucky Mesonet sensors all across the state. And we see that there are plenty of 70s, upper 70s. And now look at these 80s showing up here, even low 80s showing up at 830 on this Wednesday morning. That's warm. Kind of an idea of how, how warm it's going to be today. Uh, it's going to get there. It's going to get there pretty quickly with the dew points also being in the seventies, even mid seventies and upper seventies to the West of us. That means the relative humidity is close to 90 to 100%. In fact, it is 100% in a spot or two upper 90% humidity, even here in Bowling Green, 90% relative humidity. That's a lot of soggy air. So, um, how much rain? Well, the past 24 hours, the heaviest rains have been up in Ohio County where they picked up over two inches of rain. And that was in a short amount of time, inch and a half there in Grayson County near Litchfield, a little bit more than that in Munfordville. Uh, we see an inch and a third down in Tompkinsville, Monroe County, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to a half inch here in Bowling Green and surrounding areas. So we've had some pretty good rainfall right there in that arc you can see, and that's when those thunderstorms came rolling by yesterday afternoon and evening. Winds are out of the south and west, just like yesterday at about five to 10 with uh, some gusts 13 to 15 miles per hour at times, but it's a warm, soggy wind, a very humid wind, and it's going to be just a sticky, sticky day across the area. And then when you get the rain, it just feels more like a steam bath, like a sauna, like a sauna up in here. All right, here's a look at the model blender. And we've got uh, 90s continuing until Saturday when we see the passage of a cold front after some rain and thunderstorms, then things will simmer down a bit and then stay more into the low 90s. They've got some mid 90s in here for the beginning of next week, but it, it may get close to that. Then we go back into the 80s, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. And oh, by the way, Starting tomorrow is the world's longest yard sale, US 127, which goes uh, to get to it from here in Bowling Green. <clears throat> excuse me. You have to go take the Cumberland Parkway like you're going to go to Glasgow in Columbia, and you just keep going out the Cumberland Parkway until you get to Russell Springs. At Russell Springs, that is US 127. It goes all the way up into Michigan and all the way down into Alabama. I think it's Gasden, Alabama. US 127. It runs through Chattanooga. It goes up to Frankfurt. And, you know, it goes, it's a, it's a long, long roadway. US 127. That's why they call it the world's longest yard sale, 600 something miles, but it starts tomorrow and it runs through Sunday. So, uh, there you go. And the weather is going to be pretty typical for that. 
I mean, usually there's some rain at some point, uh, during the yard sale, the length of the yard sale, and especially here in Southern Kentucky, pretty typical to have a hot muggy day and then have a thunderstorm at some point along the, the route. Uh, and so that looks to be the case again this weekend. Here's a look at the maps and you can see that we've got that chance of showers, which we're seeing on the radar this morning, mainly central and east of us into the afternoon with a boundary hanging close by. We will continue to see some of those thunderstorms passing through. Here's this evening with the possibility of severe weather out to the east. I think if we do see severe weather, it's going to be that dividing line is going to be I-65 and east, more likely to get severe weather this afternoon and this evening, overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, northern and eastern Kentucky. Here we go into uh, Thursday morning, first day of August, Thursday evening, a little better chance of thunderstorms north of us. Here we go into Friday morning with a cold front that's going to come through. Uh, it's going to be slow moving. So Saturday morning, there will still be a few leftover showers and thunderstorms. But after that, this is when we kind of cool it down into the upper 80s that you saw on the model blender uh, for Sunday. But then as we get into next week, even though high pressure is going to be here, I do think we're going to see a return for showers and thunderstorms as uh, we get this cold front coming in, even though it's not all painted in here. We're going to get a, a bit of a break from the stormy weather and the persistent rains, uh, but it's, it's not going to stay that way. So uh, heat, humidity, showers, thunderstorms, Yesterday's high was 90. That's exactly where we should be this time of the year. And they picked up 51 hundredths or a half inch of rain at the airport yesterday. Today I'm going with 93 with uh, that chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, really any time, but more so this afternoon and even tonight for some of you. Okay, in the chat box this morning, iffy. Connie, Tony, Sandra, Gail, Higgs and family, Eric, Chris D. Also, uh, Wanda, Wolf Girl, <laughs> uh, Pamela, Gretch. Good morning, all of you. Have a great Wednesday. Thank you for watching, as always. 